All right, guys, welcome back to the e-commerce with Golang project back in series. Here in this video today, we are going to be working with the middleware. We have done quite a bit right till now. We have achieved quite a bit. A lot of the program is in structure. Um, so it's the right time to work on your authentication middleware. So we'll call it package middleware. And you'll import a few things. What I really need is this tokens package out here. Okay. So let me go to my go.mod file and let me pick up the name of my project and put it here. And ahead of this, I just want to say slash tokens. So if I try to save it, it takes it just makes this disappear because these extensions that I've installed, they know that I'm not using it right now. So it they kind of make this uh, package disappear. But I don't want to do that right now. I want to keep it here because I'll be using it in some time. And this, I want to call it token. That's how I'll be referring to it for the entire uh, program. I want the net slash HTTP package. I want my gin package. So I'll say github.com slash gin tonic slash gin. All right. And now we'll start working on our authentication function. Doesn't take anything but returns a gym handler func. So if it returns a gin handler func, and you obviously know it has to return a func, which takes in gin dot context. So you take in client token c dot request dot header dot get. Okay, so all the APIs that get called, you're expecting the token to be in the request header. And that's how you will get access to the token that the user is going to pass when interacting with these APIs through Postman. And you'll capture that in a variable called client token. So you want to check if client token is empty. I mean, by mistake, you know, if somebody has not even sent a client, client token, that's a problem, right? And that's what you want to capture out here. So you want to say, c.json http dot internal server error internal server error from agent dot h error no authorization header provided and you'll have c dot abort and return So you know that we already have this function to validate that token. And we can easily access that function from here. So we'll say token dot validate token. Why token? Because token is how we are referring to this package. And we can easily call the validate token function from there. And we all just we just need to send the client token that we just got. This client token that we just received, we just want have to send it here. That will give us back the claims. And now, if error is not empty, you want to print out the error, obviously. So you'll say c.json. And again, status and turns server error. Error. We'll print out this error. And you will abort this program, return from it. Okay, so why do you need these claims? Because you want to set in the context the email claims.email. You want to set the UID claims.uid and you want to save next. Now if uh, if you know, people from you are from uh, the Node.js Node and Express background, then you know that middleware basically uh, has this next kind of a function, which 
says that, you know, whenever a function is called, let's say whenever an API is called, middleware just is always there in between and it checks for, uh, let's say, in this case, it's checking for uh, if the token is valid or not, right? If the token is present and also if the token is valid or not. And then c.next says that the process can now proceed to the next thing, which is, you know, what, what the user wanted to do, which is he wanted to call the API, but then the middleware happened in between and then now the process can now transition into the next thing, which is calling the of the actual API, right? So that's the magic of middleware. And if you're coming from an Express background, you, you've already seen this kind of a syntax because that's what you do in Express as well. You have c.next and you can create as many middlewares as you want. It's very similar with Golang. You can create as many middlewares as you want for many types of different things uh, with authentication uh, middleware being the most common. So this is where I want to show it to you. Thank you for watching this video. I'll keep this much uh, this video here. And uh, in the next video, we'll start working with mostly our database functions. So do subscribe to the channel because you'll get uh, notified when awesome content like this comes up. And I'll see you in the next video.